Listen to a conversation between two students. Hi, Kelsey. How's it going? Well, I don't know. I just got my history paper back, and my professor didn't grade it. He just wrote on it, "Come and talk to me about this." Really? Is that all he said? Didn't he make any other comments? No. So I'm really confused. This is the first time I ever got a paper back with no grade on it. That is strange, isn't it? Sure is. I did everything I was supposed to. I mean, I followed the instructions of the assignment. You'd better go talk to him. You need to find out what he's thinking. Yeah, I will. I hope he doesn't ask me to rewrite the paper. What is the woman's problem? Question two. Listen to a conversation between two students. I don't know about you, but I sure am ready for spring break. Are you doing anything special? I'm going to Mexico to hang out on the beach. Four of us will be staying at a resort owned by Maria's family. How about you? I wish I could do the same. Unfortunately, I told my brother I would help him move, but I don't mind. It's my turn. He's done so much for me in the past. Well, I'll be thinking of you as I bask in the sun. Gee, thanks. I'll repay the favor some day. What is the conversation mainly about? Question three. Listen to a conversation between two students. What courses will you be taking next semester? I won't be taking any courses. I'll be doing an internship instead. Oh, really? Where? At the Children's Union. It's a non-profit agency that works on children's issues like education, nutrition, crime, family issues, even music and the arts. That sounds like a great experience because you want to work in that area. Yes, I do, and I'm really excited. The position is actually very political. I'll be traveling all over the state, helping to organize events in a lot of different places. I may even get to spend some time in the state capital. Excellent. I'm sure you'll learn a lot. Good luck. Thanks. I hope this will lead to a job after graduation. What is the woman mainly discussing? Questions four. Listen to part of a discussion between two students. Are you ready for our first quiz in botany? I guess so. If only I could remember the difference between xylem and phloem. I can't seem to get it straight on which one goes up and which one goes down. I always think of a tree and imagine a P at the top, up in the branches, and an X at the bottom, down in the roots. P is above X in the tree, just as P comes before X in alphabetical order. Okay, now what? Well, if P is up in the branches, it has to go down. Okay, then it's phloem that goes down. Right, and X is down in the roots, so it has to go up. Xylem is down, so it must go up. Xylem up, phloem down. Right. Now just imagine your tree tomorrow during the quiz. Number four. What problem does the man have? Number five. How does the woman help the man?